Is that the source? It's... kind of pretty. being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. Oh, good. Oh, need more. Um, You've returned, I see. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big, angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. 
You killed it! You found the source and you killed it! I could have learned so much from a live specimen! Her concern is touching. Really, it's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold! You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Thanks for the information. My pleasure.
the block. Oh my god, did she have to write everything in her made up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, her CIA spy shit, god. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. But to think of it, the song should have brought it back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Look, making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research. Loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with Rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. All right, back to work. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the his signal I can arrange. It's happening. 
After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA-warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Good to have you back. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is... They weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. I have to go. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Stop by any time. Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on a need to know basis. Apparently, the director restored HRA production. They're already getting hot. Marshall orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? She must have her reasons. I think you're gonna... She's probably out doing some work. Then she should. about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. Happiness comes. Why? 
yellow and red in the air. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your inside the back door. Push the fingers through the surface into the way. You've always been a new you. You are this control. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. White pearls, Can you hear me? Red in the eye. You oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. You've always been in there. You want this to be true. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface and into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? True. Please? <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide warm. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. In your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. 
but only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are on your time. You are on your time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, the yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made red. If you're inside the light, push the fears to the storm. Your time. Yeah. 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 Y